Hello my friends, this is Lionel Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube BitChute video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Elon Musk. That's right, Elon Musk who is trying to pose as some sort of savior to the right-wing community and who has actually deceived a lot of people who are in their earlier stages of waking up. He's tricked a lot of people into thinking that he's some hero of freedom of speech and that he's on the good side, when really, my friends, he's just another controlled opposition government uh, agent. All right, so he just announced that he's going to begin human testing with Neuralink. Hopefully in the next six months, he said. Okay, so this guy wants to put a chip inside your brain, a computer chip inside your brain, my friends. This guy who's saving us from the NWO wants to put, do exactly what the NWO wants and start hooking your brain up to artificial intelligence. And guess what? Already he's killed over 1,500 animals in the animal test. So So we're going to get all up to that today, but before we do, I'm going to encourage everybody to hit that subscribe button. As I say, subscribe to survive. I covered all from NWO, uh, who controls the world, occult knowledge, extraterrestrials, UFOs, and much more. So please subscribe and please hit the like button. That helps me so much with the YouTube algorithms. I'd be forever grateful. All right, my friends. So I want to start this video by reading you an article, and I'll leave a link down below to this article. Just a quick little uh, portion about what's going on with his animal tests when it comes to this Neuralink brain implant, okay? It's been reported that he has his company has roughly killed 1,500 animals since 2018. That's right. Present and past Neuralink employees claim that Musk demands his employees to take on unusually heavy workloads and to rush through their research. And doing this has uh, caused a needlessly high rates of animal deaths and injuries. Within the last several years, Neuralink has had four experiments that were marred by human errors which compromised the results of the research. Because those initial experiments involved killing 86 pigs and two monkeys, those animal deaths proved to have been in vain, and other animals needed to be killed to complete the research. Because the rushed experiments no longer had enough research value to stand on their own, they needed to be repeated with more animals dying in the process. Up to 1,500 animals dying now with this uh, this chip that he's putting in there. So it is dangerous, it is dangerous. And this article goes on to say a lot more. So the link is in the description, definitely check it out. But my friends, uh, he, he's being investigated for crimes against the animals. That's right, for violating animal cruelty laws with this Neuralink. And it just goes to show he's rushing the people who work there to get it, get it done quick, rush it. My friends, this is not safe technology. And in six months, they're going to begin testing on humans when 1,500 animals have died. How many humans are going to lose their lives? And that reminds me of this thing that they want you to get in the world right now with everything that just happened, you know, the thing that they're pushing. Well, that was rushed too. Or was it really? I don't believe the official narrative that Trump came out and Operation Warp Speed it was all because of him. No, I think they had this thing ready to go for a very, very long, long time. But if you were to believe the Operation Warp Speed narrative, they rushed that, right? And look at how many people are having uh, complications and losing them, their, uh, losing their lives, you know? Too many to count, right? And now they, they're rushing this brain chip implant and they want to already, all these animals are dying and oh, let's go to the human trials. And uh, that'll probably get passed just like that, just like that thing that they want you to get, right? Oh, the FDA, oh, it's safe and effective, right? And even if the people who did receive this brain implant from good old Eagle on there, 
let's say it didn't uh, take them right out. Let's say it didn't. Maybe they, they got it and, oh, we're fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it just goes to show this technology has the power to end your life. For sure. So who's to say that one day all old Elon or or the people who really control, of course Elon does isn't the actual head of this operation. He's just a puppet of the NWO, a front man to sell it. He's a salesman. He's selling the public the idea of putting the chips in your brain, right? But what if the people who are actually behind developing this technology, probably uh, DARPA, what if they decide that, oh, we want to take this person out. We don't like this person. This person is spreading misinformation online. And he happens to have this brain chip. Oh, hit the switch. Boom. All of a sudden, you have a brain aneurysm or something, right? Obviously, it has the ability to do that. If it's killing all these animals, then obviously, they'll have the ability to hit the switch, right? On the people they don't like. Not to mention, they're going to be able to control your thoughts, right? They're going to be able to control your mind. They want to connect your brain to AI. That's what it is. You're being connected to AI through this thing and the thing that they want you to get that we just saw in the world. That's also connecting you to AI. But this is as well. This could even be said as the mark of the beast. I believe the mark of the beast in the Bible, they say it'll be in the right hand or something like that or in the forehead. That's right. So it's very possible that this could be the mark of the beast, right? Because it's going to be controlling your thoughts. So at the end of the day, what it comes down to is, are you going to be deceived by Elon Musk and say, Oh, he's freedom of speech. He's, he's fighting the NWO. Oh, he wants to give me a brain implant? Okay. Are you guys going to do that? And I'm not saying the people watching this are going to do that, but I'm talking about the brainwashed people who actually think Musk is a hero or something and who are trusting him right now. Are you going to trust him with the brain implants? Because I'm telling you, a lot of people will. A lot of people will go out and get this implant in their head, a brain chip, because they like Elon Musk. And they think he's some kind of genius. And they think he has good intentions. Oh, he must be good. He wants freedom of speech. He's saying all these good things against corruption. So he must be good. I trust him. So I'll put that chip in my brain. My friends, that is his role as controlled opposition. They knew, the powers that be knew, if you had a guy like, let's say, Bill Gates out there saying, oh, I got this technology, nobody's going to do it. Nobody likes Bill Gates. Nobody trusts Bill Gates, especially with what's happened over the past few years here with that thing, right? So, no, they got to put out a hero figure to be their salesman. And that's all Elon is. If you think that he's some genius who's there inventing this technology no he's not inventing the technology none of this stuff is he inventing not Neuralink okay not the electric cars or anything all he is is a frontman salesman of the, of the elites the elite class and his job is to come out sell his product convince the masses that it's safe and that it's to better humanity and now it's a classic psychological operation to get you to think that he's somehow against the powers that be and that he wants to restore your freedom of speech he he bought twitter to restore your freedom of speech meanwhile he's already admitted which we've already went through in another video that he's turning Twitter into X, the everything app, that's gonna be modeled after China's WeChat, right? And it'll probably be connected to the social credit score and everything. But just think with this technology and now having people's chips in people's brains as well, they'll just be able to put a tweet directly to your head once you get it installed, right? This 
Neuralink will probably be dire uh, directly linked to Twitter, aka X the Everything app, once it becomes X the Everything app. It'll all be connected and they'll be able to beam whatever they want right into your head, my friends. End of the day, this is all about connecting humans to artificial intelligence. Because once everybody has all this nano technology in their system and they have uh, this brain implants and they'll set up this AI system and they've even admitted it, the AI will start to begin to do the thinking and you'll become less and less and less human, more and more robot, robotic to a point you won't be human at all. It'll be no, none of it you're thinking, or if it is you're thinking, it'll be very small. It'll mostly be the hive mind. It'll be what the powers that be want you to think. They wanna control your perception. They wanna make it so you never ascend, and that you're stuck in this matrix system forever. That's right. You wanna know what hell is? People, oh, hell is real. Oh, if you don't repent, you're going to, uh, Suffer in hell for eternity, right? Because you sinned. Well, guess what the sin is, my friends? The sin would be putting this technology in your brain. And yeah, you're going to suffer for eternity because you ain't ever going to ascend. Probably not. If you do that, you're probably just going to be stuck in this matrix simulation forever unless there's some big rescue mission by the higher being galactic forces, which I'm sure there would be, will be. But it's not looking good if you do that. You might be signing your soul over to the reptilian elite for eternity if you let them put these chips in your brain. Maybe not too. Hey, I'm not saying 100% that I have all the answers here. I'm just going off my own thoughts and my own research. But hey, Ali, you know, I'm not right about everything. I'm not saying I'm 100% right. This is just theorizing. But all I know is that you shouldn't be putting this stuff in your brain. There's nothing wrong with being human. We don't need to change ourselves. We don't need to merge with technology. No, 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 no. Having a phone in your hand is good enough. You don't need it in your brain. So Elon Musk, Bill Gates... All you guys, I say no. And that's what you guys got to do. Just say no. No to AI. No to transhumanism. But say yes to being human. Yes to our soul. Yes to our spirit. Yes to spirituality and who we truly are, which is consciousness. And no to the NWO. Right, my friends? So that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. And if you enjoy my work, you could join me on Patreon, where you get exclusive content you don't get anywhere else. Spiritual-based videos. You got the health class, occult class teaching you hidden knowledge. Your support means the world to me. Or if you'd like to simply just buy me a coffee for my efforts, all the links are in the description. Uh, link to buy me a coffee there. Uh, your guys' support means the world to me and helps me to continue to produce this content for you. So thank you. Uh, and at the very least, if you could just subscribe and hit the like button, then I'd be happy. Okay, my friends? So that's it for today's video. Until next time, Lionel signing off. Cheers.